no a defeat on Saturday, but it's not been a bad start, has it really? No, no, it's been a fantastic start. Um, you know, all the boys have really enjoyed it. Um, you know, Saturday was disappointing, but we've got a fantastic game tomorrow now. So, sort of dust ourselves off from Saturday and, and really looking forward to tomorrow now. When you signed from the you were expecting big things, you, you sounded like, this is a place to come. How does it feel 13 games in when that seems to have come to fruition, really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's gone better than I expected. Um, you know, I knew when I spoke to <coughs> the gaffer when I, when I first came up, it was, you know, it was a club looking to do things. They'd had a fantastic year the year before and were looking to build on that. And I think they've done that. You know, they've, they've added some, you know, some, some quality to the squad and everyone's gelled together and it, it's gone really well. Let's uh, put some meat on the bones of your career then, which is fairly extensive now. You're from Coventry, how did you end up at Preston? <laughs> um, <coughs> playing for my district in like a Nationals Cup, um, and we got to, through to the semi-final, I think it was, and off the back of that really, I went all sorts of clubs all over the country really, but Preston at, at 15 were the only one that offered me a scholarship, so to take me to 19, and it, it was a no-brainer really. And ultimately, you end up at Shrewsbury, and there was a connection there, wasn't there? <coughs> yeah, Gary Peters. Um, he was involved in the youth setup um, in Preston, and he got the he got the job there. And literally, he said he, he got the job, and I was his first phone call. So, I mean, I was only young, I was only eighteen, nineteen, but um, you know, I went there on loan and, and signed a month later. And whereabouts on the field were you playing in those days? <laughs> I was playing up front. Yeah, it, it seems a long time ago now, and um, it was it was literally we were short for centre halves, uh, so he put me. You know, at the back in a reserve game on the Monday and played there on the Saturday and here I am 12, 13 years later still playing there. So I think it was a stroke of genius really. I think, you know, it certainly helped my career and, and developed me. Presumably this was because of your prowess at centre-half, not because you were ineffective up front. <laughs> I think it was a bit of both, if I'm completely <laughs> honest. Um, I wasn't prolific. I was just kind of the centre forward you'd probably mm. expect me to be, try and get hold of it, win headers, that kind of thing. Um, you know, and I have ventured up there every now and then, although it is rare. Um, you know, but like I say, it was one of those. It was I sort of learnt as I went along, really, and I, I rode the, the crest of the wave with it, really. And I had some fantastic centre half to play alongside and learn off, and that kind of I think I just got my head down and got on with it. Really. Yeah, how important was that time at Shrews? Because that's your, your first big block of first team <coughs> games, wasn't it? Yeah, it was huge. You know, not just sort of on the pitch, off the pitch. I, I sort of developed a lot. I grew up a lot. I um, went from a young sort of U team player to playing first team football week in, week out. So, you know, I was there in the transition from Gay Meadow to the New Meadow as well, which was a fantastic experience. And I, I've got, you know, incredibly fond memories of being there. Anyway, you've a fair amount of experience now, league football, non league football. What was the neat and like? Because they always seem from a distance <coughs> to be a, a good side underachieving. Um, you know, it was one of those, you know, I was there for two years. The first year, we, we just seemed to start poor. You know, get to Christmas and you know the the year before last week, we then went on a ten game unbeaten run, and it, and it happened similar last season as well. It's just that start for some reason, and we always seem to come good. And you know, it's difficult to see them struggling at the moment, but I'm, I'm sure they'll turn it around. When a town played on the, we always struggled against you. <laughs> yeah, we've had some fantastic players over the years that have gone on, you know, to play in the league now, and um, you know they do because it's full time there as well. They do get a lot of the lads coming out of centre of excellence as under 21s as it is now we were looking to stay full time um, it gives them the platform to go and play so you can get some players with real quality going there yeah including Ashley Chambers he comes to mind <coughs> I knew him from York City just goal scorer through and through yeah. um, you know fantastic and then Kitty have got themselves a, a great striker there anyway you're now here at Harrogate yeah the big game's coming thick and fast Wrexham next yeah and again another big one like Saturday was um, but it's when you can get your teeth into it it's a fantastic opportunity to bounce back um, and you know it's it's, it's you know, we're, we're playing games at the top of the table, which is is where we want to be fighting. So um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, how down if at all are the players after late Orient? Well, we're disappointed. I think you're always disappointed to lose a game, but um, you know when the grand scheme of things, you look at it, we're still second in the league. We're still right up there. And, you know we've got a fantastic game tomorrow night. And it is just a case of a good morning's training and getting your heads clear and, and going again tomorrow. And in terms of the way things have gone for you, I mean, you're on the bench for well, pretty well a few minutes the first yeah. day of the season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you say, it was one of those things. Sometimes, you know, I certainly wouldn't wish an injury upon anyone. I've, I've had them, but it was that was kind of my way in. And, um, you know, thankfully things have gone well in that period and it's, it's just about, you know, bouncing back from Saturday now. Um, how are things going with Callum Howe? Because he's got experience at this level, of course. Yeah. Brilliant. I mean, it, Obviously, you get a headline for his goals, but his, you know his defending, his communication, everything. It's, it's it's a joy to play with him. You know, it makes my life a lot easier, and, and you know, I hope to do the same for him. Great stuff. That's